Kalashi to Nanning and New Vok. And I know in Ningan it is in your para. Tissina pop, Ersina pop, Nuan no pop. Why am not? It's from Greenland. I learned it from my mother. All at once, it's funny. It's scary. It's explicit. Wael Nuk was performed for hundreds and hundreds of years on cold, dark winter nights. It's a belly laugh in the face of fear. It is an orgasm rolling with mirth. Black represents fear. We live in a harsh environment, and in order to love and thrive and survive in our land, we must rationalize our fear and our panic. Black is a teaching of this rationalization. Also, black represents the immensity of the universe. The total of our knowledge is nothing but a speck. The white lines are the bones of our ancestors. The bones of the animals that have given us nutrients are also painted on my face. Wild milk is a celebration of human sexuality. We can't quite define what it is, but it's in every part of us. Red is evocative of female genitalia. We're proud of being women. We love our women. Protrusions in the cheeks are evocative of male genitalia. We love our men and we love being men. The mask itself is bizarre. In fact, the word for art in Greenlandic is which means the making of eccentric things. On dark winter nights, when people were living in their sod houses, sometimes it would get very, very dull. People would just ache with boredom agitation would be very high and someone would think to themselves I think it's time for a party I think it's time to liven our spirits this is enough and then they would jump out into the crowd and surprise everybody with their looks and their antics they would scare the children and they would tease the adults and they would jiggle and show their bodies off now, wild milk dancers are impish. That's probably why the missionaries didn't like them. But in any case, they're impish. They take body parts and rub them. They move their hands in ways that are fearful. They crawl up to people, sneak around them, and then blast out in front of their face. It's all about getting a reaction. Wayanuk is not just the dancer, it's also the reactions of the people they're performing for. Without the audience, there is no Wayanuk. <laughs> it's not quite human, but it's very human. It's very difficult to deal with when it's right in your face. People get agitated. This dance purposely makes people panicky. It makes people decide on a very split second what to do next. Should I throw that person's hand away or should I let them touch me? I don't know. I'm very nervous about that dancer. <laughs> then it gets everybody laughing because you can see the agitated person, the nervous person. It teaches people how to think through the situation. It teaches people how to rationalize their panic and their fear.